everybody, happy Thursday. I'm Katie Morton, I'm a licensed therapist. If you didn't know, this is my mental health channel on YouTube where I talk about all things mental health. If you are not subscribed, make sure you're subscribed and make sure you have that bell, that notification thing checked so that when I put up a video, you hear about it. But today's question is something that I get asked a lot. And so I just decided to have kind of like a coffee and a chat with you about it. And the question is, when is it okay to give up? I'm never gonna get better. And I don't actually know where I received this question. It could have been in a letter that I got from one of you, or it could have been on Twitter, but I just had it in my phone. I emailed it to myself. So no, if you ask a question and I tell you I've added it to my list, I legitimately have. My list is just very, very long. But let's talk about this because I know many of you feel this way. And when is it okay to give up? And I know that you all already kind of know my answer, but the truth of it is it's never okay to give up. What I would give up on is potentially our treatment team or our faulty way of thinking or maybe the people in our life that are just pieces of shit and are bringing us down instead of helping us. Those are the things I would give up on before I'd give up on myself. Because I want you all to hear that when we give up those things that I talked about, we will be more empowered to make positive change in our lives. Yes, therapists can be shitty at their jobs. Also, it might just not be the right fit. Like some of you out there might not like me that much and that's okay. We need to find a therapist that you connect with, that you really like and you feel is on your team and supporting you. And you should feel that way about every member of your treatment team. And yes, I know not everybody has the ability, the resources to see the right person, but there are ways to get our needs met in other ways. That could be like friends and family support and that could be group therapy. That, that could be online therapy or texting, chatting, all sorts of ways that we can get the support when we need it most. Don't give up on that. You deserve that. And the next thing I mentioned was faulty thinking. And something that I'm even working on is knowing that the thoughts that we have in our head, this is gonna blow your mind potentially, but the thoughts that we have running in our head, we believe it to be ourself that this is, that's my true self, I'm speaking from my experience, and that's the real person that I am, is that voice in my head. I'm here to tell you that's not true. That's not who you are. That's essentially your thoughts and feelings shoved through the filter of life experience about what's around you. Does that make sense? So the thoughts actually aren't you, they're just like an interpretation based on all that you've been through and how you're feeling that day and a lot of other factors, it's your interpretation of it at that time and your thoughts about it. So know that, the reason I even say this is because I want you to know that you don't have to listen to them. They aren't the truth. They're essentially just our thoughts and interpretations and they tell a lot of lies also. So know that you have the ability to sit back, imagine that you're like in your brain, this is something I do. Imagine that I'm like a little creature, I'm in my brain. I picture like a little wooden man, I don't know why. And he sits in the corner and he just watches all these thoughts swirl and twirl about everything from, wow, that's a really pretty flower. Oh, I don't like that one next to it. Ooh, it stinks. No, that one's really pretty though. Purple's my favorite color. And it thinks about everything, right? Thoughts spin and swirl about everything in our life. But I can sit back like that little wooden man in my brain and I can just watch it. I don't have to participate. Now I know that this is a huge concept and there's a lot that I could just talk about when it comes to simply that, but know that you can do that too. You can just sit back and watch. You can also take a more engaged approach where you argue back. I talk about that all the time, where we take note of the nasty things that those thoughts say about us, our true self. They talk nasty about our true self and we can argue back and be like, you're a liar. I know you're a liar because I have all this evidence. I also know you're a liar because that doesn't have any fact to hold it up. We can talk back and we can argue so that we, in essence, don't believe those thoughts and we don't engage with them. So there are many ways that we can kind of fight against those thoughts that are not us, okay? That was the second thing, faulty thinking. Then the third thing that we can give up on are people in our lives that are toxic and bring us down. And I don't fully believe that other people are toxic themselves, but it can be a bad recipe. You plus them just doesn't go together, you know? Just doesn't work out. It's a bad recipe. So if there are people in your life that you find just draining you emotionally, we call them emotional vampires, always taking, never giving, or always, you know, kind of giving you like complicults, you know, where it's like a compliment, it's an insult wrapped in a compliment, it's actually a put down. If you find those happening, notice, 
and know that you don't have to be around those people. We can set up healthy boundaries. I have videos about that. I also have other videos about how to deal with toxic people because we can get them out of our lives. Just like, you know, splinters that fester, our body doesn't want them, our mind doesn't want those people around us and we can actually get rid of them. So those are the things that you can give up on, but don't give up on yourself because it's never okay to do that. You have so much potential. You are here for a reason. I'm a firm believer in that we are all placed on this earth for a reason. There are things that we're supposed to accomplish, lives we're supposed to touch, maybe inventions and uh, other scientific uh, discoveries that we're supposed to be a part of. Music we're supposed to write, poems we're supposed to put out in the world that help someone finally feel heard. We're all here for a reason, so do not give up. You can and will get better. Sometimes we just need different support. We need other things in our life. Maybe we need to give up on those other things I talked about, but know that you're worth it and that with the right support and with the right help and the right belief in yourself, it does get better. I hope you found that helpful. If there are other things you think we should give up on, leave them in the comments. There's a lot of things we should turf, but don't give up on yourself. You're worth it. I love you and I'll see you next time.